Hello again. Welcome back. MG Matt from Maine here talking again about some nutrition and my senior gravis. Again, I am <clears throat> not a medical professional and this is not professional medical advice. This is just a myasthenia gravis patient sharing some nutritional knowledge that I've experienced over the last year or so. So today we're gonna to be talking about vitamin D. Vitamin D is a big one, especially for autoimmune diseases, you may already know that. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin that helps with the intestinal absorption of calcium. But it also helps with the absorption of magnesium and zinc and probably some other things as well. Uh, one thing that's important to notice is that microbes in some diseases block the receptors for vitamin D. Is myasthenia gravis one of those diseases? I don't know. I don't know that there's been studies on that. Uh, but there certainly has been studies on vitamin D treatment for multiple sclerosis, MS, and Crohn's disease. Um, and again, this is, um, this is not official advice, but there is this study. It's a 49-year-old female from Brazil, 2008. She was on a high dose of vitamin D. And it's called, if you want to search for it, it's a case study from the American Journal of Case Studies, and it is remission of severe myasthenia gravis after massive dose vitamin D treatment. And 49 year old from, I believe, 2008. Looks like it was published in 2016, however. So, if you want to check that out. Uh, anyway, so she was treated with 80,000 IUs. So they don't use milligrams for vitamin D, it's IUs, international units. Um, here's what I'm currently using. This is the Trader Joe's vitamin D, and uh, this is 5,000. So my recommendation for someone with myasthenia gravis is to take 10,000 daily. So for me, that's two of these. Um, I guess your body probably needs about 2,000 daily, but if you take 2,000, you're not gonna really feel any difference. Great, you're getting the amount you need. You could also go outside and be in the sun for an hour and you're probably gonna need your daily requirement of vitamin D. But I'm gonna suggest supplementing and getting it that way. Getting outside is never gonna hurt. Um, so vitamin D also works really well with something called vitamin K2. It's a lesser known vitamin and you're gonna find that in all of your you know, grass-fed stuff, so grass-fed beef, grass-fed butter. Uh, personally, I would say go and find Irish butter uh, at the grocery store. And Kerrygold is probably the most well-known brand and can be found in most parts of the, of the United States. In America, all of the cattle that they get the dairy from that makes the butter is all GMO, GMO corn-fed cows and so in Ireland they're all out of these pastures eating you know green grass and everything so they're getting the vitamin K so when you have vitamin D and vitamin K2 together they work really well uh, like I said Sun is gonna be your best source for natural vitamin D but the other good places that you can get it in food which it's it's pretty rare in food is you're gonna get it in your cod liver oil which is your old-school health supplement of course, all the fatty fish, like a salmon, would be a good one. Um, Irish butter is gonna be my number one choice, but if you also have access to good healthy cream, or if raw milk hasn't been made illegal in your area, those are things to check out. All right, well, thanks for watching. That's just a real quick video on vitamin D, how it can help you. I encourage you to start with 10,000 UIs daily. And um, leave some comments below if you have had good or negative experience with vitamin D. Uh, also check out some of my other videos. I'm trying to do all sorts of videos about nutrition and myasthenia gravis because there just isn't enough out there. So thanks for watching. God bless. Have a good one. Cheers.